quick. What's the definition and uh, definition of the word kitchen? And I don't mean the room in your house with the refrigerator. Well, a new dictionary can give you the answer. The Oxford Dictionary of African American English will define and trace the origin of words established and reinvented by black people. It's set to be published by March 2025, and we're getting a preview of the first 10 entries, including bussin', grill, chitlins, and yes, kitchen. Joining me now, Tracy Weldon, executive editor and advisory board member for the Oxford Dictionary of African American English and sociolinguist. Tracy, thank you very much for coming to the Sunday show. Before we get into some of the words, what led to this project and why did you why uh, did you think this is the right time to do it? Thank you so much for having me this morning, Jonathan. So the Oxford Dictionary of African American English was was really the brainchild of Professor Henry Louis Gates of Harvard University. Um, it represents a, a, a collective effort between uh, Oxford Languages and the Hutchins Center um, and is led by a very skilled team of lexicographers and researchers, as well as uh, a dozen um, advisory board members who have been mm -hmm. leading scholars in African American language. And the time was right because the, the you know the the collaboration was in place and the funding was there. And um, now more than ever, I think it's important to acknowledge the the significant contributions of the African American speech community to American English more broadly. Mm -hmm. Especially at a time when there are efforts around the country to erase our contributions um, in history Absolutely. writ large. Okay, so let's talk about some of these words that were previewed, such as kitchen, as I mentioned earlier, which is defined in the dictionary yes. as the hair at the nape of the neck, which is typically shorter, kinkier, and considered more difficult to style. Okay, first, why, right. why, ki why kitchen? That's what, I always, what I've always wanted to know. And then how do you select these words and trace each of their history? Yeah, so, so kitchen is one of those terms that actually has sort of remained what we call in-group. It has, it has remained more or less a, a term that is used by and among members of the African-American community, but really has not um, moved outside the community. Um, it, it, it is often said that it's because that part of the, the neck has uh, such a tight uh, curl to it that it represents peas, which, of course, you would find in the kitchen. Oh. Um, and so that is, I think, where the, the, um, the origins came from. Um, but it's not one that has been, at least before now, um, familiar to people outside the African-American speech mm -hmm. community. There are, of course, other meanings of kitchen that are more familiar. Mm -hmm. So then how, how do you go about selecting words? Which words make it in and which words don't? Yeah, so that really has been a collaborative effort between the advisory board and the lexicography team. But what we've tried to do is really show the breadth of the African-American lexicon. When people think about African-American English, they typically think of slang terms. And it's true that African-American English has contributed quite a few uh, slang terms to American English more broadly. Uh, but the, the 10 words that were featured in the New York Times article that you have listed here uh, attempt to show that beyond just slang terms, there are vocabulary terms that are um, representative of uh, the plantation era. There are those that are um, associated more with religious traditions. Of course, there are food terms. Um, and other, you know, terms that are certainly associated with musical mm -hmm. traditions like jazz and hip hop, um, which are often really strong vehicles for moving those mm -hmm. vocabulary items outside of the community into more mainstream society. So, Tracy, we've, we've got about a minute left, but uh, you also accept public sub submissions. So how can someone go about that? Uh, and, and what are the criteria for submitting a word? And I, I want to submit two. I want to submit two. Where did I write okay. them down? Oh, here they are. 5011. 5011 yes, is okay. one of them. 5011, yes. Uh -huh. And East Jablip. Oh, okay. That's a new one. You'll have to tell me about oh, that yeah, one. That means all <laughs> over the place. Where, you know, some uh -huh. unknown place. But go okay. ahead. How, how can right. someone submit, submit a word? Right. So, so we're getting, um, you know, our entries from a number of different sources, music, literature, but one of the most important sources, of course, is uh, the community itself. And so if you're interested in submitting um, 
recommendations for entries, you can go to odaae.com, which is the main website. And there's a, an online form there where you, you can submit the, the word, uh, recommend meanings, uh, pronunciations, spellings, and even get examples. And our team will take that up and decide uh, whether or not it uh, makes uh, its way into the dictionary. But it's important that we have um, that input from the community itself because this really is intended to represent uh, the, the larger community.